Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Um, start by saying it's a, we've got a big review coming today, and uh, it's going to be uh, a Meng tank. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Just a little few updates. I haven't been making many videos the last week or so. I've had uh, dreadful, dreadful problems with this arm here. Um, I'm totally unable to do any sort of rotation with it um, without getting severe pain. Uh, it's been extremely painful and it's put me completely out of action. Um, I have not been able to open coffee jars uh, or hold cups or anything. It's been really severe. Um, it is starting to wear off now. Um, I haven't been able to model and this is going to be the first thing that I've done model related so I don't know how this is going to go I'm hoping I can get through I have got a little bit of movement in it now I can sort of do that uh, I just get a little twinge but we'll see how it goes hopefully it's not going to interfere um, everything else is going well on the channel uh, we've had a few more new subscribers so um, welcome to those as with all uh, hobbies and especially with hobbies where we rely on YouTube so much for our channels um, a lot of us wouldn't get anywhere without subscribers and uh, some of us do better than others um, and I just wanted to give uh, a shout out to a few of the channels that I follow um, and I think you should go and uh, look at some of these as well some of these guys have, are phenomenal uh, in their work their modeling is just first class first rate and I think they're pretty much all far better than I am at modeling and um, I, I think you'd be suitably impressed by if you took a look at any of their work uh, and I encourage you to look at all of their work you know and subscribe to them as well uh, I learn a lot of different things through them and uh, I'd like to thank them all for it so uh, first of all goes without saying um, I've had a lot of subscribers through International Scale Modeler um, so big thanks to Paul and Lee for that and for allowing me to keep shamelessly plugging my channel on their shows I'm very grateful it goes without saying who International Scale Modeler is so next on my list I've got a list here so we've got to, I'm just trying to click through them all very quickly um, uh, So here we go. Um, there's so many here. I'm just trying to tip, pick the ones that I sort of work with the most. Um, well, not work with the most, but the ones that are more prominent in what in my viewing. So I've just started following uh, Gavin Colvin on YouTube and he has been building cars this is what I first seen and he's built an amazing Porsche um, and he does he works with gravity colors which uh, I, I think uh, I've never used them and uh, there's some interesting stuff there so you know I encourage you to pop along and, and look at Gavin's channel and then uh, I've Guy Guy Mack, he's in um, International Scale Modeler as well. Um, he's one of the live crew, so uh, yeah, I encourage that. Um, high Altitude Scale Modeling, he does a lot of reviews, uh, a lot of uh, reviews of new kits coming out and so on. So um, yeah, pop along there, see Brett, he's, um, he's got some good stuff on there. And um, I've got Joe's model kits, uh, I'll follow him, uh, John Moore's scale models, 
Uh, John Moore's a prolific tank builder. Um, if you want to want to see anything to do with tanks, I would say John Moore's the person to go to. He's uh, very good at what he does, and he he goes through kits like we would drink water. He just flies through them. Yeah, he's an amazing man. Amazing. Um, the kit maker network I follow quite regularly as well. Although they don't um, concentrate on any one area they're good to look at because they've got a range of um, builders working for them uh, Les's models I mean Les's models he's, he's just uh, I, I love Les he's a great guy um, and uh, yeah just sign up with him um, and then we've got uh, Mr Mini Dreams Misty Mini Dreams builds a lot of cars, he custom builds cars um, and if ever I wanted to know anything about car building he's the guy I think I would go to first um, yeah he definitely knows his stuff when it comes to cars so uh, Mr Mini Dreams definitely put him on your list uh, we've got Northern Modeler, most of you will recognise that name, that's Ivan um, He's doing a great diorama at the moment. It's a zombie diorama, um, and he, he, he's he's a bit like me in many ways. He builds a range of uh, things. He doesn't stick to any one type that I'm aware of, um, and uh, yeah, he's a very good builder. It's considering you know, I think he's sort of about twenty, twenty-one, and um, he's got a vast vast array of knowledge really when it comes to building. Um, he's a likeable guy as well, so uh, yeah, you know, just go and sign up with him as well. Um, let me see, just going through the list quickly. I don't want to miss anyone out. Red Dragon Model Works. Now, uh, this is um, sorry, I can't remember your name. Um, Gil, this is Gil and uh, I don't know Gil that well I have spoken to him a couple of times um, but I don't know him as well as some of the others uh, but I would say he's your go-to guy for um, figures uh, airbrushing questions things like that um, he says I, I like Gil I, I mean I don't know him that well but I think he's really down to earth and uh, a great guy uh, so yeah definitely consider signing up with Gil um, we've got Scale Model Jedi uh, that's Simon and um, he has got one of the best dioramas I've seen uh, this year I wouldn't say ever because I've seen some amazing dioramas his is certainly up there in the top 10 I guess um, but this year I think it's the best one I've seen this year it's absolutely amazing um, I'm not going to say any more than that because I really want you to go along to him subscribe and see for yourself you won't be disappointed um, and then we've got Sharpies Models that's John and um, another great builder somebody else that goes through kits at quite a fast rate uh, definitely sort of give uh, John subscription subscribe to him you won't be disappointed there and uh, we've also got uh, Stuart Stuart scale model Stuart somebody I've only just started following um, and I stumbled across his because uh, there's so many modeling YouTube YouTube accounts out there that uh, you just can't see them all and that's what I like about YouTube you can be looking at something and you can click on something else and all of a sudden you find this great modeler hidden away and um, although Stuart's not exactly hidden away uh, I came across him because he was uh, he'd had trouble with a, a site he was on and they treated him rather unfairly and uh, he was having a bit of a rant about that but in the process of that he sort of uh, I don't know there was something that sort of gelled straight away I, I felt I'd had something similar happen with another uh, a different account on a different subject um, so 
uh, I subscribed to him and I started watching his uh, builds and that and my my lord I was not disappointed he was um, he'd done a fantastic diorama with the tank um, and some uh, it was an American tank uh, in winter going along by a uh, you've got you. You, I can't describe it because I wouldn't do it any justice. But yeah, Stuart. Um, I think his name's Stuart Avery. Um, go along, see him. He's great. And then uh, just a few other little shout outs here. Um, Tim Headworth. I have subscribed to him. Um, I haven't really seen many of his videos yet, um, but uh, I will get through to it. And Victor Mullin, uh, Victor Mullin does a lot of reviews. Um, that's primarily all he does uh, on YouTube. He does do build videos. Uh, it's a bit difficult to find. I found it difficult to find them, but then I haven't really put the effort in to look because all of his new builds, all of his new reviews come straight through to my phone. So whenever he puts a new review up, I see them. I haven't really gone in search of his build videos. Uh, I'm sure there are some, uh, but uh, if you want your reviews as soon as kits come out, this is the guy that normally gets them up the quickest. Um, so, yeah, give him a like. Um, obviously, it goes without saying ISM. You've got to give ISM a like before you do all the others. It's their top of the tree. Um, and uh, ISM is great. They promote all everything to do with the hobbies that that's what they're about that's what they want to do they want to improve it for everybody and um so that's uh, that's my few shout outs uh sorry if i've forgotten you or missed you off in any way shape or form um there's nothing to read into that other than i've got a bad memory um I've gone off my list there, so I don't think I have missed off anyone. Um, but you have my apologies if I have. Um, if I have, get back in touch with me. Send me your YouTube account, and I will subscribe, because the chances are I'm not subscribed to you if, you, if I never mentioned you on that list. Um, there are a lot of other people on that list that, I've, um, that are on there that I don't really watch as many of because there's just not enough time uh, to watch them all. I, I think there's, I don't know, there's over a hundred or so channels on there. It's, uh, it's a bit difficult to follow them all. So, that said, we've got this big review, and this is going to be, this is where I find out whether my hand's going to work or not. It's a US... Uh, oh, sorry, let me try and get this up. US main battle tank M1A2 Sep Abrams Tusk 1 and Tusk 2. Now, the Tusk stands for Tank Urban Survival Kit. Um, it, it basically, the Tusk kit includes add on armor against chemical energy, armor piercing projectiles, bulletproof steel and glass shields against rifle bullets outside the gun mounted on the main gun. The combat capability of an M1A2 SEP M main battle tanks fitted with the Tusk kits has been greatly improved in urban combats. Um, so this is their sort of their main battle tank I think. Uh, it's a 2016 kit so it's only a year old. Um, and I think we'll go over to the overhead camera and see what we've got there. So let's get this camera set up above. So here we are. Meng's main battle tank. This is quite a big kit, so let's quickly go through the box. We've got um, a nice picture on the front. Meng kits never fail to uh, disappoint when it comes to box art. 
This is their 135th scale and it's coming in as their Tyrannosaurus range. T-Rex as it says there as well. Um, so just some little bits of information there ready to assemble glass cement and that and then we've got this kit includes the Tusk 1 and Tusk 2 sub assemblies. All crew hatches are realistic and movable. There are two types of commanders, cupolas and CITV and commanders machine gun fire rotatable. The main gun uh, has real elevation and depression angles. The M2 coaxial machine gun operation equipment can move together with the main gun. Workable track links and movable suspensions are included. Clear lights and periscopes are included. Whoa, so that's quite a lot there. Now, before we just quickly go to the side there, and uh, another nice bit of the tank there, and then we've got AK paints. AK and Ming have obviously got uh, together on this and it's going to be their paints you're going to see so you'll probably have to do a bit of conversion there uh, if you haven't got AK paints that is uh, same sort of thing on there that's just a label from where I got it and just a little bit of information there and uh, the address for Meng there and just that so there we go so oh sorry my arm hurt a little bit there. so just a quick note before I open this I'm gonna say uh, this is my first tank I've ever uh, I haven't built a tank yet I think I reviewed one other tank and that was a T34 if I remember rightly um, so this is uh, going to be my first sort of big tank review without any further ado let's open the box nice sturdy boxes from Meng just bring this over We do have an awful lot of plastic in here. An awful lot. Just out, uh, just a worth a mention, this is very sturdy this is very very sturdy box it's not flimsy at all <laughs> so we're going to have a quick look at the odds and sods that are in here we sealed we are i'm not going to try and pull them apart and break the seal because hands are not strong enough at the moment so we'll just do that uh, so we've got let me see if I can zoom in on this just going to come right down just for uh, got a little tiny bit of photo etch there A tiny piece of photo etch. Uh, I guess they're going to be grills of some sort. Look at that one in a second. And we've got a sheet of photo etch separately in there. I'm not going to um, get it out of the bag because it's nice and snug in there. But they're grills and little detail items it's only a small fret but it'll add a little embellishment to it 
And then we have a very small decal sheet. Now I don't know whether that's typical of tanks, whether tanks don't have many decals in general. But um, they're sort of a faded black, some of them. Got some gold ones there as well. I don't know. So let's um, let me get you in on there. How close can this focus? I haven't got the macro lens on, so I've got to. There we go. So some nice detail there. Just going to come and have a look at the instruction manual next. So let's pop them back. So I won't be building this one for quite a while, so I don't want to leave. She saw somebody from another channel the other day and they were building their kit they'd got their they got a big decal sheet out they'd got it out of the bag and they'd got the slip cover off and it was just like they were actually building on the um, on the decal sheet <laughs> which uh, seemed a bit crazy There you go, it wouldn't do for us all to be the same. So, uh, we're going to whiz through this because, it has, as I've never really built one of these before, um, I can't really give you any advice on it. I can't tell you whether this is typical of a Meng booklet. Um, So, you know, it looks like we've got suspension elements going in, road wheels going on, uh, other bits and pieces. Seems fairly straightforward. Um, side skirts assembly. Unfortunately, it does tell you on each step what you're doing. So, like, for example, step 12, we're attaching rear hull parts. Then we're doing the side skirts. You know, if I'd have thought about this before I'd started doing this section, I could have I could have read through this and made it sound like I knew what I was doing. So we'll do that now. We'll make out that I haven't said that I don't know anything about men and this tank, and we're going to pretend that I do now. We'll see how well I can pull it off. So. On this section we've got the explosive reactor armor assembly going together here with uh, the tusk 2 or you can have the tusk 1 going on if you would so prefer and then we've got some track assembly going on here um, then we move on to the, some more reactive armor going together and then the upper turret is going to be assembled here uh, Looks like we've got to drill some holes. Uh, these would probably be for hatches and so on. There. Attaching the gun trunnion there. Uh, and the turret assembly, gun assembly, uh, turret parts assembly, and then attaching some more turret parts there. Uh, even more turret parts and then we've got some of the smoke grenade launchers uh, well they've called them dischargers coming out here um, again more turret parts uh, more smoke grenades going in there um, and then we've got storage baskets going on here cupola assembly so this is where the commander would sit 
Um, and these are the ballistic sort of shields around the outside that protect his head from uh, uh, rifle fire or anything like that. And then we've got some more explosive reactive armor there going on. Uh, this is quite a big build, isn't it? Um, more turret parts. Um, looks like we've got some options here. We can either have A or we can have B, C and D. Uh, choice is yours. And then the two sort of parts coming together there. Uh, spare road wheels. Um, various odds and sods there. And then we've got a parts map at the back. Um, and then we've got a uh, painting guide is it just the one guide or is there a couple of options it looks as though it looks like there's a couple of options but if I'm honest both options look very much similar the only difference I can see appears to be this raven on this one and the skull and crossbones on this one so and then you've got colour references for AK paints at the back um, at least it does give you the colour that you need rubber black olive green and so on so it should be easy to find the paints you need for that so that's me. How did I do? That's the thing. Did I convince you all that I knew what I was talking about? Or not? So that's the instructions. Then we come on to the plastic. Let's have a look in the first bag. I don't think there's much to look at in the tubs really um, from what I've seen don't see anything nasty got some little bit of detail going on there yeah little bit of detail in uh, let me just just here whether sort of suspension arms or whatever come out we've got a nice bit going on there and then we've got some poly caps that go in there as well that is quite a lump of plastic that so it's obviously going to be quite a big build got some clear pieces that have all got the same sort of thing in so I'm only going to open one just noticing whether some are a different shade to others sometimes these ballistic ones have uh, a slightly different let me just there's no distortion through the uh, no distortion through here at all. I'm not going to peel this. This is just this isn't a bag. This is a protective um, protective like tape that goes over to stop the clear parts being damaged. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm not going to take that off but there's no distortion through them and they're very clear so I don't see any problems with those and again the same for these they're just some small little pieces in there I don't uh, see there being any problems Now, 
I understand that there's a lot of fans out there and these uh, these are probably some of the most boring parts of the build so I'm led to believe and these are obviously these are the tracks I'm just going to take one out because again they're all the same very flimsy these ones I can just bring you up to there so you can see they're just track pads track pins, links, whatever We might find a jig somewhere. In fact, that might be the jig here. Uh, this might be the jig here. If we're putting these, uh, dropping these little pads in, filling them up, and then pushing your pins in from the side. That is just a guess, incidentally. I'm not saying that's how it's done. But there's quite a few of them. There's one, two, three, four, four big sprues like that. And we've got one of the first plastic sprues proper. Of course there will be some photographs at the end. So here we go, let's see, we're going to zoom right in now as much as we can and leave it zoomed in as can't tell because of that uh, whether that's focused in or I think that is yeah right so we've got some nice detail on here here we can see you can see the riveting on the side of the armour there let's see how close we can get this can we get it closer still yes we can there we go, got the riveting on the sides of the armour there. This is your tusk armour, I think this is the reactive armour that goes on the sides. And then we've got some more details there. to be some sort of hatch point there so um, we just flip that over nothing to worry about on the other side it doesn't look like the other side is going to be seen too much we've got a bit of riveting around these window points on the inside bit of plastic good start let's put it back in that way I may have to do this in two parts is already hurting 
considerably. So here we've got, um, well I'm guessing this is the top of the um, top of the tank, top of the base part anyway, some lovely detail on that. We can see those hatches and handles and uh, very very high level of finish. That's fantastic. That really is superb work. And now we've got uh, I'm guessing that's the two piece two piece barrel. Obviously I'm not an expert but I think that's the two piece barrel. I'm guessing you can also get some aftermarket sort of turned barrels for this. Very good, very nice, high quality that. And then we've got the uh... yeah, that's unusual. I wonder whether we've got a separate option here. I'm not going to pretend to know why we've got to separate unless that goes on like that and then that goes on like yeah that could be one yeah okay i think i know what's going on there so there we go we've got a uh, nice level of detail on that, that's the base one, so you're not going to see too much on that, but, uh, sorry. Uh, beautiful level of detail on these top pieces. Get a nice wash in there. Yeah, fantastic. there we've got some railings that go around the outside um, and various other little bits and pieces various other little bits and pieces nothing to worry about on the back side tiny tiny bit of flash on there and a little bit on there which is surprising given it's a brand new kit well brand new I say only a year a year old I'm surprised it's got any sort of flash on but there is a little bit of flash there I'll show you let's um, get up close let's drop down a bit so we get a bit of light as well right so where were we looking at the flash um, little bit on here, the edge here and if we come down a bit more we've got little bits on the edge there sorry what you Bit. Have we got a little bit uh, there? Let me just pop my finger there. Let's just zoom in on that. 
there you've got a little bit of flash around that where my finger is so it's just little tiny pieces nothing at all to worry about nothing that can't be cleaned up high level of detail everywhere else but it would be remiss of me if I didn't point out there was a little bit of flash because you can bet somebody would watch it <coughs> sorry I've just <laughs> moved my arm somewhere I shouldn't you know. uh, you can bet someone would have spotted it and said oh there's a little bit of flash on that you missed it Sadly, I think every community has people that uh, are all too willing to pick fault. All too willing to pick fault but won't give it a go themselves. got two identical sprues here from what I'm seeing yep so I'm just going to show you one so these are identical um, again a close I don't see we've got the road wheels on here and the uh, sprockets idlers I think they're called I'm not sure uh, we've got some vents there. Really is a high level of uh, detail on the road wheels. Um, on the little tiny parts, it's it really is fantastic. I mean, men really do know their stuff. There's uh, no denying it. Look at the detail in the wheels there. Can we get closer. This is about as close as we're going to get without. sort of vents there more tiny tiny parts some long thin ones like hooks and clips and so on shackles or what have you Kudos to you, man. You really have done, made an impressive job. I have got the D9 armored bulldozer to review as well, still from Men. I think that's an even bigger kit. I think I already reviewed that. I think I've already reviewed it. So if you haven't seen that, just pop along and have a look through the videos. You should find the D9 armoured bulldozer it's the world war one name I haven't reviewed yet the world war one male tank I think yeah we've got what looks to be uh, that's meant to be some sort of steel rope Some other parts. 
Put it. The grills there. I had a really lame joke about bear grills then, but I'm glad I never went with it. <laughs> there we go. We've got some machine guns there. They'll look nice when they're painted up and had a wash on them. Swivel round through, just catch the uh, we got a little bit of flash there. Did I see? Yeah, a little bit of flash where my finger is on that there. Two more to go. Two more to go, and then I'm going to need some really strong painkillers. <sighs> so these look like their hatches. Um, and hatch sort of entrances, doors, uh, looks like we've got a bit of a submersible exhaust type thing going on there and a big machine gun here so let's close in on the close in on the detail so these look like they go on the sort of round the hatches and then these are like these three hatch doors? I don't know. That looks like it's a type of exhaust. There's that half and that half maybe go together in some way. this is the inside so these are the sides you're not going to see with all these ejector pin marks on there's the gun you will see both sides of that got a nice effect on the cooling jacket towards the front these are the sides you will see superb detail on them handles the gun again riveting around the top of the hatch excellent Yeah, very good, very good quality. And the last sprue, I mean, it's great to review a kit where you've hardly got to talk. The, the kit just speaks for itself. The level of detail is phenomenal. And you just, you know, you, I could have come on and not said a word and just shown you shots like this.
And that's the uh, that's the shield that goes around the commander's head, I think, uh, to prevent uh, him getting shot in the head. Same down here, I think. There we go. So that said, that brings us to an end of our review on the Meng main battle tank with TUS 1, TUS 2 armour, or reactive armour. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Um, I hope you've uh, took on board everything I said about the uh, community and go and look at some of the other people out there and subscribe to some people, you know, uh, just, just go on a random tour around YouTube, the modelling community, and just pick some at random and have a look. You'll be surprised what you find. Um, and in the process, you're helping to grow the channel. Uh, which is always going to be a, a big bonus for the community as a whole and it helps everyone from us reviewing to the shops that sell the kits uh, it just helps everyone so much uh, so please please give that some thought well like I said uh, don't forget to hit thumbs up uh, could do with the support and uh, subscribe if you haven't and then hit thumbs up and uh, all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching I value each and every one of your subscriptions and um, bye for now hello just a quick addition to the uh, video that you've just watched which was the Meng uh, battle tank I believe there won't be any photographs at the end of this video this is on this occasion uh, I have a lot of problems um, towards the end of that video with uh, various items that I don't really want to go into but um, there won't be no photos at the, on this occasion for them sprues sorry about that I hope you enjoyed the video though and uh, see you soon